welcome to my youtube channel now in this video uh, we are going to learn how we can draw this particular image which is visible on your screen so uh, basically we will be starting with isoplanes this option is available here and after that we will start drawing this particular image now the portion that you are seeing in green color this one this one and this one you will be drawing this portion by using isoplane right then because this is on the right side of this particular drawing now the portion that you are seeing in yellow color you will draw this portion by using isoplane left and the portion that you are seeing in this blue color you will be drawing this by using isoplane blue uh, sorry top now what why do we need uh, these different isoplanes so for lines uh, for the drawings that contains only lines you can work without isoplanes but it will cause a lot of problems if there is a circle uh, basically that we need to draw in isometric image so in that case it will be almost impossible or very difficult to draw without using isoplanes so without further delay let's start the drawing so let's continue before drawing any isometric image the first thing that you need to make sure is uh, the grid should be on so that you can understand that which isoplane is on so uh, just press f7 or turn on the grid from here so now we are able to see the grid so uh, you can see that both x and y uh, lines parallel to x and y they are basically uh, looking like a two dimensional object and not an isometric drawing so what you are going to do is you are going to turn the isoplane on on now you have turned the isoplane left on from here you can switch these isoplanes by using this arrow button here so if you are uh, drawing the right side of an image you will use isoplane right if you are drawing is uh, top uh, top of that particular image you will use isoplane top or for uh, the left side you will be using isoplane left so uh, in general the front view or uh, the front side of any image is drawn in iso uh, isoplane right so i'm going to select isoplane right and as soon as you select isoplane right you will see that the grid is shifted in a positive 30 degree angle okay if you switch these uh, isoplanes by pressing f5 this is isoplane left and this one is isoplane top so we are going to draw with isoplane right now start the drawing from origin so i'm starting from 0 comma 0 press enter now this length it should be uh, 46 first so we are going to draw 46 first so now this image that we are talking about it should be parallel to this particular grid line so we are going to draw for 46 then we will be moving towards the next length which is 36 i guess now after okay it's not 36 it's 32 so 46 plus 32 press enter then height of this particular line it should be 50 now along this line this thickness is 18 then we are going to move downwards now join this particular line and then draw a height of 18 again now move parallel to this particular line then it should be uh, 32 minus 18 plus 46 so basically uh, what I'm going to do is instead of doing this calculation I will draw a line till this point press enter start again start a line start from this particular point and join them and we have created one side or one portion of this particular drawing now the next thing that you are going to do is uh, we are going to draw the all the lines that are in left side so we are going to switch this isoplane to isoplane left okay so we have shifted to isoplane left now first delete this axis object and then 
will be selecting the line command again. So select line. After selecting line, what we are going to do is we are going to start from this particular line and move parallel to this particular grid line. Now 18, again height we are going to use 18 and then join with this line and press enter. Now repeat the same line command, start from this particular point and move till 18 units, press enter, then move for 18 again. Now uh, polar tracking is playing a very important role here. So make sure it's turned on. So we have created two sections. Now we are going to draw this line and these lines. So what are the dimensions? Basically 18 plus 18 plus 18. So it's 54 starting from this particular corner. Now we are still drawing the left side. Okay. So 54 press enter. Then what should be the height? I am just randomly drawing it. Repeat the same line command start from this particular point and if you will draw a line of 54 it should correctly match with that. Press enter. Then start from this one and it should be 54. Now in this case we do we have not uh, selected isoplane top but the top view is drawn. So basically if all of these are lines it will not be difficult to draw without using isoplane top but still we are going to use isoplane top. So uh, switch this isoplane from this particular portion. So isoplane top we have selected start from a line and draw a line parallel to this one it should be perfectly joining. Now for this side you will be coming till 18 units then join with this one press enter after that repeat the same line command start from this particular portion and go till 54 units ok not 54 we need to simply join it then repeat line start from this portion this particular corner and it will perfectly join with this one now we can basically trim this particular portion so the next thing is we need uh, this cut so for that we need a distance so basically this cut should be at 46 unit length so start from this particular line uh, start from line command go till 46 units now instead of drawing uh, basically joining we could have uh, drawn the line of 46 as well earlier now trim the non required portion so this thing we don't need this one is not needed again and this one is also not needed press enter after that what what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove this section as well then okay uh, basically the visibility is a little bit low so what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, select all of these lines and I'm going to increase their line weight so that they are perfectly visible. So select them using the green selection box. Increase the line weight. If it's displayed, it's well and good. If not, click on display line weight, click OK. And now you'll be able to see everything. Now select line again. Start from this particular point and this line should be perfectly joining here press enter so basically we have created this base the next thing that we need is so after increasing the line weight we are uh, able to uh, properly see the things now the next thing that we need is uh, we basically need this line that we have deleted so start this line now we will be moving till seven units then press enter then parallel to this one now uh, basically we have wrong isoplane selected so that's why we were not able to see that so after switching the isoplane use 18 dimension like this 18 like this similarly 18 in this direction and then join with this one now you will be going till 18 units in this direction and you will see that uh, the image is almost perfectly visible so what I'm going to do is I'm going to delete these portions that we don't need 
so this is how we can draw an isometric image and this one is uh, very easy to draw now suppose that if let me turn this grid off so after turning the grid off you will see that everything is almost properly visible so what I'm going to do is I'm going to provide dimension to all of these things so start from specific corners and put all of these dimensions use dim command now you will see that the dimension lines that are placed they are not perfectly visible as we want them as we want them to look like so they are not basically in the perfect shape in which we want they are not properly aligned so how we are going to change this thing so let's put all of these dimensions first and then I'll explain how we can change this scenario so place all of these dimensions now we need dimension for this particular line as well after that for this one as well the next thing is uh, I think this one is clear so we can write dimensions for this one also now in order to make our visibility proper what I'm going to do is I'm going to select all of these dimensions now as they are uh, drawn using same command so all of them will be selected at once and let's change their color to uh, suppose that I'm giving red color and decrease the line weight thickness so instead of uh, 0.3 we are going to use 0.25 so we have drawn this one but the thing is uh, the dimensions they are not properly aligned I want this one basically these dimensions so that uh, they are consistent with the di with the drawing so what I'm going to do is select the dimension and go to annotate tab now you are you will not be able to uh, uh, do this from this annotation what you will have to do is you will have to go to annotate tab and in dimensions you'll find an option of oblique okay so click on oblique then specify the angle at which you want to align this now you'll see that the dimension is perfectly aligned now can we uh, do this with multiple uh, multiple dimensions yes we can so basically we want all of these dimensions in one single alignment so what I'm going to do is I'm going to select these dimensions now you will be able to see select this one this one this one this one and this one now I'm going to align them along this particular angle so click on oblique from here then specify this line as the alignment angle and you will see that all of these dimensions are perfectly aligned now the only dimensions that are remaining are these dimensions so select them click on oblique and specify the angle and you will see that these dimensions are perfectly aligned so uh, one more dimension is still remaining so what I'm going to do is I'm going to start from this corner and just write this dimension now take a look this one is again not consistent with the previous drawing so what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on oblique and specify its angle as this one so I think it's properly there now we can change the color or another option is we can match properties okay so uh, press escape and we want the dimension to be of this property so click on match property and click on this dimension and everything will be matched so what I'm going to do is I'm going to select this 7 and I'm going to align it with this particular dimension so that's how you can create a drawing now what I'm going to do is I'm going to select all of these dimensions again and I will create a layer 
create a different layer named as dimension the center then change its color to the red that we are using click ok and select these dimensions by using select similar now turn this layer editor off and shift them to dimensions layer and then turn this layer off now you can use hatch command to uh, properly display the drawing that you have created so what I'm going to do is I'm going to change the color so that it looks a little bit better so fill this image with uh, these different colors click close okay uh, this one I need to delete first click on hatch now specify these colors with these uh, surfaces with single color then specify the other hatch as well by using a different color so I'm going to use yellow color for this side this one and this one and this one now why I'm using these colors because I want to explain one more thing at the end of this drawing now change this uh, color use a little bit greener color for this one then uh, click on hatch again use green for this face and this face as well now you'll see that uh, basically if you will be seeing from top you will see only the blue portion okay so that is the top view so this blue portion if you are drawing this blue portion you should use isoplane top if you are drawing this green portion you should use isoplane right and if you are drawing this yellow portion you should use isoplane left okay so that's what I wanted to explain now turn the dimensions on and you will see that uh, this is the drawing that we wanted to create so that's all for today guys thank you very much and have a nice day mm -hmm.